wonderful children of God. You are blessed in Jesus' name. I'm so glad to be on your screen today. And I really, really appreciate you for spending your time with me. God bless you. Let us pray. Father, we just want to give you praise tonight. We just want to bless your holy name. We thank you for another wonderful time to be in your presence. We thank you for your children. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for their family members. We thank you because you have used your love to keep us together. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for how you have cared for us in the time past. Daddy, we say thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Everlasting God, as we have come to you today, we pray that let your kingdom come and let your will be done in our midst today in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your kingdom come upon your children and their family members and let your will be done in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, speak to us tonight. Help us to understand the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, O most righteous Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, you are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah, you are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. So before we get started today, I really want to know how many of my friends can tell me what we learned about last week. What was the topic of last Sunday school? Okay, I know you can remember it. God bless you. So today we are going to be going to the part two of that topic. We are going to be doing Wisdom for Choices Part 2. Wisdom for Choices Part 2. Remember, we make choices every day. From the time we wake up in the morning to the time we go to bed at night, we make choices. I make choices, you make choices. And that is why it's very, very important for us to make those choices with the wisdom of God. Because remember, for every choice you make today, there is a reward. There is a consequence. So we have to be very careful with the choices we make. Last week, the story we talked about was from the Old Testament. Today we want to look at another example in the New Testament. Are you ready? Do you have your Bible? Do you have your writing materials? You need to make some notes, okay? So I'm going to read from here and then I hope you follow with me or you listen to the story. I will read only one verse and then I will tell you the rest of the story because I like to make eye contact, okay? I'm going to read the first verse and then I will tell you the rest of the story. So let's look into the book of Luke chapter 5 verse 1 to 11. The book of Luke chapter 5 verse 1 to 11. I will read verse 1 for you and I will tell you the rest of the story. Let's read together. And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Genesaret. That was Jesus Christ. 
Jesus loved to talk about the word of God. So he was there at the lake preaching, talking to people about God, telling them to listen and obey God. And then the people were becoming more and more at the lake. So Jesus decided to use one of the boats at the lake. There were two boats just by the lake. And Jesus had to make a choice because he only needed just one boat. So he picked a boat. The boat he picked belonged to Simon Peter. So after picking the boat, he called onto Simon Peter and said, Can you help me to push your boat just a little bit into the water? Even though Simon Peter had been working all night, he's been, you know, trying to catch some fishes, but he couldn't. He must have been very tired. But when Jesus told him to help him to push the boat just a little bit into the water, he didn't complain. He didn't say, oh, I'm tired, Jesus. I don't really know you and you're asking me to push my boat into the water a little bit. He didn't complain. He made a good choice. He helped Jesus to push the boat into the water a little bit. And Jesus sat there. He was talking to people. He was preaching to people. And when Jesus was done using the boat, I'm sure he must be thinking, oh, I have to do something to compensate this man that has borrowed me his boat. So Jesus told Simon Peter and said, come, come, come. You've been trying to catch some fishes all night. You couldn't. I'm going to help you today. So Jesus told Simon Peter, can you put your net back in the water? Remember, at the beginning of the story, Simon Peter was already washing his nets. So he was ready to go home. He was done for the day. So when Jesus told him to bring his net back into the water, another choice to make. He could have just left and said, you know what? I'm tired. I just want to go home and sleep. No, he didn't say that. He made a good choice and listened to Jesus and put his net back in the water. Guess what happened? Ah, I love the story. By the time Peter put his boat, his net back in the water, guess what happened? Oh my, he was like jubilating. He was happy because his net was full of fishes. He's been trying all night. He couldn't even get one fish. But because he made a good choice to listen to Jesus, to allow Jesus to use his boat, he got a lot of fishes. He couldn't even carry. He had to call other fishermen to come and help him to bring those fishes out. And guess what happened? I'm very sure Peter wouldn't eat all of those fishes by himself. He must have shared with the other fishermen that helped him. So he wasn't only blessed for making good choices, but he became a blessing. That is what happens. When you make good choices, you are still going to come back to it. When you make good choices, you are not the only one that would benefit from the good choices you have made. People around you will also benefit from it. They will also gain something from your good choices. So the purpose of today's Sunday School is for, is for you to think about your choices before you make them. Some people are so in a hurry to make their choices. They just want to go, 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 go. No! Some choices are very, very important. And they affect our lives all through our days on earth. So we don't make such choices in a hurry.
we need to take a pause think about it oh what am i going to do what am i going to do and i'm going to be telling you after this i want you when you take a pause before you make your choice i want you to ask yourself some questions don't just take a pause without doing nothing before you make those choices take a pause and ask yourself some questions before i tell you those questions let's do a memory verse we're going to take a memory verse from the book of proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 the book of proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 and it says trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding i will take it once again proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding so i want to tell you today to lean on god lean on god before you make your decision we have already talked about that last week so i was telling you to think about your choices before you make them take a pause this choice I'm about to make. Ask yourself these questions. Listen to the questions. They are very, very important. The first question you need to ask yourself is, is this choice going to make God happy? Because God is your number one audience. God is your number one cheerleader. Because he's your creator. He is the one that made you. Okay? So, ask yourself, this choice I'm about to make, is it going to make God happy? Would God be upset with me if I make this choice? That's number one. Number two, is this choice going to hurt me in any way? Is it going to injure me in any way? Is it going to hurt my body in any way? If the answer is yes, don't do it. And if the answer to number one question is yes, don't do it. If your choice is going to make God sad, don't do it. So the third question you want to ask yourself, this choice I'm about to make, is it going to hurt anyone around me? Is it going to hurt my family members? Is it going to hurt my people around me? Is it going to hurt them in any way? Then don't do it. And the last thing you want to ask yourself is, is it necessary to make this choice at all? Can I just ignore it and just walk away? Is it really important? This choice I'm about to make, is it really important? Does it worth it? Why am I making this choice? Does it make sense at all? If it doesn't make sense, just forget about it and walk away. Yes. So before you make your choices from today, please, my friends, think about your choices before you make them. Think about your choices. Because some people, they made some choices when they were very, very little. And those choices came back when they were home to hunt them. Those choices went ahead of them into the future to wait for them. And they were not happy for making those choices. That is why it's very, very important for you to take a pause. Think. Ask yourself those questions before you make those choices. If you are unclear about what to do, what did I say last week? Go to God. Go to adults in your life, your mommy, your daddy, go to them if you are unclear about those decisions. Like I said earlier, when you make good choices, according to the story of Simon Peter and Jesus, 
When you make good choices, what happens? Number one, you are a blessing. You are blessed. Your life is blessed. You get good reward. You get rewarded for making good choices. Just like Simon Peter made those three choices by pushing the boat a little bit into the water for Jesus to preach. The second choice was he was able to let down his net when Jesus asked him to. Yes, he did it. Those choices at the end of the day made him to become a blessing to other fishermen. He got enough fish to be able to share with his neighbors, with his co-workers, with his other fishermen. He shared, I'm very sure he must have shared with them. They didn't say it in the Bible, but I'm very sure he can't eat all of those fishes because they came to help him. So he must have given them something. So when you make good choices, you feel proud about yourself. You get good results. And then guess what happens after? You become a blessing to people around you. People want to be your friend. Oh, I love you. Oh, you're the best. Oh, you're famous. So when you make good choices and you get your blessing, you become a blessing to other people. You start to bless other people. Because the blessing will be so much in your life that you have enough to share with people, to share with your family members, to share with your friends. So good choices are very, very important. So if you don't make those good choices for other people, make it for yourself. Because when you make good choices, when the reward comes, you start to enjoy it. I tell my children, I'm like, I'm telling you to read your books now. Please read your books. Because by the time you grow up, you become someone important in life. Before you even remember to say, oh, I want to buy things for mommy and daddy. I know you will take care of yourself first. I know you will take care of yourself. So when you make good choices, you get to eat good result from it. The result comes back to you first before it goes to other people. Remember, the result of your choices come back to you first before it goes to people around you. So think about your choices. What did I say? Think about your choices before you make them. We're done today. And I hope you were able to learn something. Choices are very important. We make them every day. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm really, really grateful to God for your parents for letting you come for Sunday school today. God bless you. Father, I thank you for your children. I commit your children into your hands once again. Father, Give them the grace to make good choices at all times. Even at the times, oh Lord God, that good choices are not really easy to make. I pray, Holy Spirit, help your children to still make those good choices. No matter how difficult they may be, help them to make good choices in the mighty name of Jesus. I cover your children with the blood of Jesus. I cover their family members with the blood of Jesus. I cover myself, my family members with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father, for the answers to our prayers. Hallelujah to your name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Thank you so much. God bless you. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, like, and share this video. The Lord bless you as you do so in Jesus' name. If you have any question, just make sure you go to the comment section and just put it there. And we will answer it. Okay? For next week, before you come next week, because we are talking about wisdom, I have an assignment for you before I go. 
you are going to read the book of Proverbs chapter 1 for me. The book of Proverbs chapter 1. Read it, make your notes, and be ready to share your notes with mommy and daddy. I know I can't see your notes. You can share with me on my on my page, but don't worry. Don't share with me. Share with mommy or daddy. Read Proverbs chapter 1 and tell us what you got from that Bible chapter. Okay? The book of Proverbs is full of wisdom. Okay? And I know God will help you as you do that in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you and God bless you. Bye.